Hey folks, Sunsaver here. Well, I've been working on the skill saw motor, and um, right here is the transmission part of it. Okay, so what I've done over here, let's see, I'm gonna set this in my lap, I guess, here. Kind of hold it with my knee. There we go. So, what I did today was I fitted this piece just out of cabinet grade plywood and uh, so that piece is going to pop right on there like that Let's see. okay and so I've got a bearing piece there and then this fits in actually let's see so here's the drive wheel now this is just this is cabinet grade plywood which is very important but I just used some fiberglass uh, mesh tape to reinforce this epoxy so that's just so that this doesn't strip out because there's gonna be a lot of torque on there and past experience has shown that this will tend to strip out normally I would put a hardened steel pin but this hard ring here should hold on to the shaft because it's keyed to the shaft uh, this normally would be the lock nut that goes on your circular blade on your saw. So anyways, but that should hold it back with, uh, with the reinforced fiberglass and the epoxy. And also on the other side too, I forgot to mention, there's a steel, uh, this is just a steel washer I found on the side of the road, you know, that I saved collecting my garbage like I do, you know. And uh, so that's going to help the, the lock nut go on there. Well, if I can, there, there it goes. So, anyways, and then that goes in there like that. Oops. And there's a button over here too that you can use to. Uh, you press this little button down, and that will hold your blade so that you can tighten your blade down. But like I said, we don't have a blade on here. We're just tightening down. Uh, we're just tightening down this drive wheel. This drive wheel, this this wooden wheel is going to drive on the on the back tire of my bike, and that's what's going to push me up the hill. And then this one, this part goes on here. So, and then the bearing goes on there, like that. All that fits perfectly and square. So that took a minute to get that fit. I had to do a lot of a lot of sanding and cutting and everything to get this to the perfect height because that's very important there can't be any there can't be any bend or stress on that at all or that will overheat and it'll just break that that 3 8 shaft will break so fast it cannot have any stress literally it has to be engineered quite perfectly or uh, just my experience has shown that that will break so I'm looking for the rotor now I'm not sure where I set my rotor down well I don't guess I'll be showing y'all the rotor but anyways, the, the rotor goes on this end, and then I'm going to build a water wheel field to go around it. The only thing I was going to talk about the, the field there was I was going to use some really powerful magnets, permanent magnets, and use DC power. This originally was plugged in the wall at 120 volts AC, but uh, we're going to modify this now to where it, it doesn't actually, um, you know, I guess I'll have to take that name off of there too and just call this John's Homemade Motor. Uh, which is my real name, John Gay, but I just always went by Sunsaver on those other forums that I used to write on. So that's why I still go by Sunsaver. I'm still, if you ever find something from way back written by Sunsaver, you know, Nature's Hippie House, from Nature's Hippie House. I used to write on that forum a lot about how I always wanted to do this kind of thing. Live off the land and use solar panels and use free electricity and build magnet motors and things that run on magnet power and uh, so anyways my friend Michelle is nice enough to let me borrow her bike and we're gonna put a big battery on that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use that bike and she's gonna help me go ahead and uh, try to get a patent stuff like that or write a book on this and things like that so I just want to say thanks a shout out to Michelle thanks for letting us use the bike and for toting us around so we can take care of business and so we're gonna get back to work on this and do some writing on the book about this 
but maybe down the road I can do some instructional videos too where I just get like on a chalkboard. I've been, like I said, I've been working cutting all day just building this thing. You probably won't see this motor again until I'm actually just riding around on, on Michelle's bike there. So anyways, just wanted to say thanks for watching.